example 1.9 or 2.6 based on the textbooks, please look at the description below. In this example, we have a manometer that is used to measure the pressure inside of a tank. The fluid that is used has a specific gravity of 0.85 and the manometer has a height of 55 centimeters. The local atmospheric pressure is equal to 96 kilopascals. What we need to determine is the absolute pressure of the tank. There is a list of the known information, what we need to find, and for the assumptions we are going to use constant properties for the different fluids and we're going to assume that the pressure inside the tank is the same throughout. Before we start the problem, we're going to label the points that we're gonna use. This is gonna be point number one, and this is going to be point number two. Please note that we're going to evaluate the pressure at point number two, since it's exactly, since we assume that the pressure in the tank is the same throughout. Then we write the relationship between these two pressures. We write P2 is equal to P1, plus density, value of gravitational acceleration, and the height in between those two points. And we said P2 is equal to P1, which is the uh, atmospheric pressure, which is 96 kilopascals. The density value is not given, but we have the specific gravity. And we multiply it simply by the density of water, which is 1,000 meter cubed per kilogram. And then we multiply it by the gravitational acceleration, which is 9.81 meter per second square. And lastly, we have h, which is the distance in between those two points, and in meters is 0.55 meters. Then we write P2 is 96 kilopascals. The multiplication of this to all these values gives you 4,586.5. 175 pascals. Please note that you cannot add these two values together. Either you need to multiply this by a thousand to make it into pascal to add it, or divide this by a thousand to divide. So we could write P2 is equal to 96 times 10 to the third pascals plus 4586.175 pascals. And then this will give us 1586.175 pascals. Or if you're gonna do it in kilopascals, it will be one, two, three, divided by a thousand, 1058 kilopascals. Please note that this value is a absolute pressure since we added the atmospheric pressure that we had at point one. If the question would have been to simply ask to give you the gauge pressure at point two, the solution would have been simply the 4,586.175 uh, 4, kilopascals.